Taylor, how are you? Can you hear us? I'm good. I'm, I'm just wondering if I'm going to get a video bomb, interview bomb. I, I saw AT had a, a nice swarm, so I may not be so lucky. I think they're tired of hearing from me. Uh, you might. We'll see. Um, we'll go ahead and open up the questions for you, starting with uh, Kelsey Wright Johnson. Woo. Hey, Coach. How you doing? Good, Kelsey. How are you? I'm good. The guys are obviously in a great mood right now. We just saw them all kind of video bomb Anthony there. How'd practice go today? Uh, practice was great. Um, you know, yesterday was an individual day. Got back to work, uh, you know, continuing to install things on both ends of the floor. Uh, as I've said all along, our guys are picking up stuff uh, really quickly. You know, no, no lost time here. It's just about getting reps, just getting that comfort, that confidence in all of our stuff that we're doing. A uh, little bit of playing. Uh, tomorrow's going to be a really high day for us in, in our kind of uh, schedule. And, um, you know, th that was kind of the focus, trying to preserve it. As you say, the guys are in good moods, they're in good spirits, because I think, you know, physically they're also in a good place. Um, they, you know, we really got after the first couple of days that we were here in Orlando, um, you know, mentally, physically, all that. So I think this has been a nice kind of two-day period to kind of just regroup and have a great day tomorrow. Parker Fleming. Hey, Coach, can you hear me? Yeah, Parker, how you doing? Good. good. Uh, so – in these eight games, you're playing against a lot of great combo guards like Donovan Mitchell, Drew Hall. Parker? Oh, so I don't know why it cut out. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we got you. Sorry about that. Um, obviously, you're playing against all these great scores in the backcourt. And do you see that as an opportunity for your backcourt, especially DeAnthony Melton, to kind of show – a national spotlight on how good he is defensively? Absolutely. Um, you know, we obviously know the task at hand and, and, the, and the great competition we're going to be going up against. Uh, I love that. I think our guys are fired up. They recognize the great team challenges that we're going to be facing in these eight games, the great individual matchups as well as you're talking about, you know, Obviously, with our depth, you know, we have the most confidence that so many different guys can guard uh, anybody on another team, but especially as you talk about some of the elite perimeter players in this league. Uh, but in the case of, you know, DeAnthony, he's shown over the course of the season his ability to be an impact player, uh, especially on the defensive end, uh, whether it's an individual matchup, um, you know, the execution of coverages going out there and, and his attention to detail, uh, but also just playing off of instincts, you know, and, and being a great team defender as well. So he's definitely a guy that we rely, re rely on heavily. Uh, but when you kind of look at our, our wing contingent, our wing depth, most of these guys, A, are, are competitors to begin with, but also have these strengths on the defensive end uh, that are going to be big difference makers for us, knowing that we're going to have some great competition to go up against. And, uh, you know, Melt's going to be uh, big for us and uh, someone that we know is going to go out and make a big difference too. Megan Rice. Hey, Coach, I'm not sure if we asked you this question or, uh, earlier or not, but um, obviously Coach Ahern being a, a new assistant coach with you guys, why did you want to bring him on and what's he been like in the practices so far? Yeah, um, we're so excited to have uh, Blake on, as a part of our staff. Um, you know, he, he and I had a brief relationship when I first started off in the D-League um, as an assistant coach and kind of kept in touch over the years. And, you know, as we've kind of sat down and obviously, you know, so excited for Neil to take her opportunity back in her alma mater. We're, we're still, uh, you know, in, in the search phase right now in, in filling her position as well. But continuing to add to our coaching staff in, in addition to that spot. Uh, we felt like he'd be a great fit, you know, someone that could come in and continue to uh, just be, a, you know, a great asset, you know, just another great coach that's going to go out there and help our players get better every single day. Um, you know, as word kind of got out, obviously someone that can kind of take a, a little bit of a lead in some of the shot development uh, with some of our players and kind of take a priority focus there. Uh, but obviously his background as a player uh, overseas, um, you know, a couple stints in the NBA, um, and then obviously him having head coaching experience and even at the high school level and the D-League level, uh, just his background, which is something that we saw could be a great addition to our team and really help our staff improve, but also help our players improve. And uh, so far, the transition has been great. Him just been, uh, building relationships with the entire roster, the entire staff, and just settling into a nice groove here um, as we you know make our headway here in, in our practices and get ready for our games. Uh, last question, Pete Pranica. Hey, good morning, Coach. How you doing? Good, Pete. How are you? Good, thank you. Um, you talked about wing depth, and Justice Winslow is going to be a piece of that. Uh, that's a compelling storyline. What has he shown you in the camp so far? Um, everything that we had known prior to his arrival in Memphis and everything, uh, even in the short amount of time before the hiatus, I mean, ultimate competitor. Um, 
you know, he's, he's been a difference maker on both ends of the floor, but he comes in with a competitive spirit every single day. Uh, great work ethic, uh, great ability to connect with his teammates too. Uh, but he's already made tremendous impacts on the defensive end individually. Uh, he's got great instincts, great hands, uh, great physicality. Uh, obviously someone that's going to be a big difference maker for us defensively. And then offensively, you know, we, we always use the word playmaker. So uh, regardless of, you know, what lineup he's with or what position he's playing, whether he's off the ball, whether he's on the ball, um, he's just got this, you know, great basketball IQ, great knack to be able to make the right play, you know, whether it's to score or play make for another teammate. He's already displayed that at a really high level right now. Um, obviously, we're trying to make a big emphasis on playing so that we can get everyone back to playing, you know, shape and playing chemistry. Uh, and he's definitely hit the ground running and played really well. And so excited to get into some of our inner, inner squad days coming up and then get into our scrimmage uh, schedule so we can even just see even more of what he's going to do to make an impact for us. Thanks for joining us today. Great. Thanks, everyone. See you tomorrow.